The haunted house industry is a, a sub-industry of the Halloween industry overall. Halloween is the second highest grossing holiday there is, second to Christmas. Um, I think in previous years it's been a four, five, six billion dollar industry. And recently I think haunted houses have come into the hundreds of millions of dollars mark as a, as a sub-industry of that Halloween industry. When we were first starting out, this was a three month business. I was in college, uh, Dan had a job doing residential construction at that time, uh, Matt and Mike, the two other partners in the company, were each doing their own thing and we'd come together uh, in early August, build this thing, market it and finance it and kind of put it all together and then when it was said and done, we'd kind of go our separate ways but keep in touch throughout the, throughout the year. And each year we did it, our business grew and it grew and it grew and it grew. And last year, it had grown so much to the point where we had just enough money to pay ourselves in the off season full-time salaries. Uh, so we came together with a plan and in January, we began demolition and the reconstruction of what is now the new house of Torment. Every year we've done a haunted house, our attendance has grown. I think haunted houses are gaining more popularity nationwide uh, with people. And that's exciting because it you know, means future business and better business, but at the same time, as more and more people are going to haunted houses, they're expecting more. They're expecting higher quality shows, more special effects, uh, better looking sets, stuff that looks like it belongs in Hollywood instead of you know, some trash bags on the wall. So we always try to think about you know, where this industry is going, how it's growing, and stay ahead of that curve and provide the best experience possible.